Hello beautiful souls, I welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you like my videos, like my channel, please like, share, subscribe and comment and click on the bell icon so that you get notified of all my future readings. And in order to book, sorry, in order to book any sessions with me, feel free to look in the description box below, link is over there. Okay, and a quick disclaimer before I begin this reading. Um, well, the disclaimer is there in the description box below. So have a look at it before we go with the readings. Okay. So today's topic, coming to today's topic, it's part two of angel numbers or repeating numbers. Okay. So if you want to check the first part, you can go into my videos. Also, I'll post the, I'll give the link in the description box below of my previous video. That is part one. Okay. So let's proceed with the second part. Why are you seeing the repeating numbers? So you already know how to choose the cards. If you have seen the first part, still let me explain it to you. You have to choose number five. If you are seeing repeating numbers like five, double five, triple five, quadruple five and so on. Choose the number six. If you are seeing six, double six, triple six, quadruple six and so on. Same with seven, seven, double seven, triple seven, quadruple seven and so on. The number eight. Similarly, and 9, okay? And if you are seeing two numbers, like if you are seeing double 5 as well as triple 7, okay? Then you go for both these files, piles, 5 and 7, okay? I'm sorry, I'm stammering a lot today. Please pardon me for that. Okay, so let's begin with the readings. Okay. So we will begin with number 5. So people who are seeing five, double five, triple five, quadruple five and so on. Let's see what are, what is the reason behind you seeing these numbers. Okay. And you all know this is a timeless reading. So let me begin. Guides, please give me two cards from this deck. Why people are seeing number five. And okay, I got... So many cards. I'm not going to take these. Just give me two cards, guys. Just two cards. This one. Okay. And oh my god, so many. Just one more. Okay. Two cards from this one. Why people are seeing number five and multiple of five. Just one card. Just one card. Okay, two want to come out for you. I'll take both of these. Okay. So let's see what your cards are. We have a year from now. Okay, some changes coming. And if you believe. We have ascension. Wow. And we have clarity. Awesome. And I'll read these later. Let me explain these cards first. So number five generally indicates of changes in your life. Upcoming changes. Okay. Some big transition is coming in your case because this ascension card is there. You are waiting for something. Sorry, this is not charity. This is not clarity. This is charity. Okay. Yeah. So you are waiting for something and... Um, most likely it will come. The, this change is on the horizon, but it will take some time. A year from now, guides are telling, just believe, just have this faith that this change is about to come. And if you are proceeding towards something, if you have taken a decision regarding something and you want to know whether you are on the right track or not, whether you want to know why these numbers are showing, here, showing up once you have taken a decision. So guides are telling you that you are on the right path. Just uh, just ignore the obstacles. Just deal with the obstacles. Believe that you are going to make it. It might take some time, maybe a year from now, but it will happen. You are on your destined path, on the path to ascension. 
uh, I would say alignment with the universe, with the God. Okay, just be positive, be, um, I would say happy, just do all the things, charity, love and all these things which make you, which keep you connected with the divine. Okay, which keep you connected with the divine. Just focus on the positive things. Do the positive things. Do not create any new blockages for yourself. Just keep on believing that you are doing the right thing and things will happen. Okay, so in short, some change is coming, which is for your highest good. Okay, and if you have taken a decision and you know your, your intuition says, your heart says that it is the right one, but you are not seeing any results, then guides are telling that keep on believing, keep on having this faith, practice good work, good deeds towards yourself as well as others, and then it will happen ultimately. Okay, let me read these two cards. What are they? Beyond religion. Okay, what it says, think of me always, be my devotee, sacrifice to me and bow down to me. Do this and you will come to me. I promise you this truth, for you are dear to me. Give up all other duties and varieties of religion and simply surrender to me. I shall deliver you from all sin, so have no fear. Wow, such a beautiful message. It again comes down to this one, if you believe. This card speaks of just surrendering to the divine, focusing, um, having this faith that the universe is always with you for your support, walking towards the destined path by just surrendering and feeling all the positive things and loving yourself, loving others, just being in a very relaxed and peaceful state and believing that everything is going to be good. Okay, let's see the second card. It is maintaining balance. Again, the same thing. So guides are just telling you not to be restless, not to lose hope. This change which we, which you were looking for, the thing which you were looking for is going to come ahead. It might be that right now you are not believing because you are facing many obstacles and things seem impossible. But your guides are telling that it is on the way. Just have this faith, patience and practice all the good deeds. Okay, just, just do something which helps you connect with the divine. It says beyond religion, so no religious factors, it's just about spirituality, it's just about uh, that feeling of energy, okay? Okay, so let's see what this one says, maintaining balance. It says one can have no success in yoga if one eats too much or eats too little, nor can one be successful if one sleeps too much or does not sleep enough. So it speaks of just maintaining balance. Maintain your balance, okay? Do not get restless and lose your track, okay? Do not lose track. Just have maintain this balance of good deeds and optimism and this trust, obviously, okay? So once you walk in a balanced way, in a balanced manner, keep yourself mentally, emotionally and physically balanced, then everything is going to turn out in your favor, okay? File number first, that is number five. Let's move on to number six now. Okay, quickly we'll move on to number six. I'll just keep it aside. Oops. Yeah. This one. Number six. People who are seeing number six, double six, triple six, quadruple six, and so on. Okay. Let's see what guides want to tell you. Guys, just two cards. Just two cards from this one. First one. One more card. Okay. Thank you. From this just one card okay let me see what the cards are 
द फर्स्ट वन इज फ्लूडिटी ओके सेकेंड वन इज कम्फर्ट रिकवरी ओके या आखे एंजल रेफेल हीलिंग कार हार्ट चक्र रिकवरी सक्सेस ओके एंड वील सी दिस लेटर लेट मी रीअरेंज दम ओके सो द रीजन यू आर सींग नंबर सिक्स ओके आई आई वोन गो विद जेनरिक मीनिंग्स ऑफ नंबर सिक्स आई जस्ट से वो द कार्ड्स आर वाई आर यू सींग दिस नंबर ओके सो बेसिकली गाइड्स आर टेलिंग यू गाइड्स आर टेलिंग यू दैट यू नीड इन ऑर्डर टू बी सक्सेसफुल ओके इन ऑर्डर टू अचीव वॉट यू डिजायर ओके सो लेट मी बिगिन फ्रॉम द बिगिनिंग okay so maybe in the past you had dealt with a lot because this both these cards are for are of archangel raphael healing cards uh, cards related to heart chakra okay so it's all about healing maybe you have dealt with a lot in the past and you are not properly healed but somehow you are just rushing on to the things or it might be it might also be for few of you that your life is stagnant you just don't want to move forward either you want to move forward too soon you are rushing on to something or you just don't want to move at all okay because you are stuck in the past this recovery card and these healing cards so you need to first get healed heal yourself okay do not rush on to the things without getting properly healed because this pattern might get repeated also if you have been hurt by somebody it is most likely that if you uh, meet someone new or go in a similar situation you might overthink and spoil the good things okay so such things are seen so first focus on healing yourself and if your life is stagnant if you just don't want to move on you just want to remain stagnant at a point so guides are telling you please go with the flow do not just do neither rush nor wait okay just go with the flow just just take it easy just just don't go so harsh on yourself Th this comfort card think about your comfort think about your happiness for once focus on this self love focus on your healing and then success will be yours see the success with the exclamation mark okay so success is yours just it's a matter of time just give yourself some time just give yourself some time you might also do this self talking to vent everything out just just do something which gives you this level of satisfaction and comfort okay and yes once you do this you will actually arrive at your true destiny the real destination which you always wanted okay so let me read this card for you this is master of mistakes what it says Um, wherever there is Krishna, the master of all mystics, and Arjuna, the supreme archer, there will be there will always be opulence, victory, extraordinary power, and morality. I hold this to be true. Okay, so the metaphoric meaning of this card is, you are the one. You are the one to whom God has given all the tools, all the weapons. but maybe somehow you are unable to see that unable to realize what your true power is okay it's still somewhere hidden it's still somewhere hidden you are unable to realize your true potential your true capability your true power and the most likely most likely uh, i don't know i'm stammering again so the most likely reason for that is you because of that bad experience in the past and you not getting properly healed you just have lost this faith in yourself and your capabilities and you are really stuck somewhere in that negative whirlpool and because of which these blockages are being created and you are not able to see the true blessing the true weapons the true tools which god has given you to achieve everything you desire okay hence this success card so let go of this blockages get yourself healed heal yourself heal yourself okay do some meditation work or work on focus on any hobby which which actually gives you this um happiness and satisfaction and which actually keeps you really engaged and happy about it which um i would say which boosts up your self esteem do that okay spend time with family friends 
do something which actually keeps you away from all the negative thoughts okay and then once you are properly healed then you will realize what your true capability is and then success will be yours okay number six this was a reading let's move on to number seven now People who see seven, double seven, triple seven, quadruple seven, and so on. Let's see what you guys want to say. Let's just give me two cards from this deck. four cards i'm not going to take all the four just two cards guys just give me two cards okay one is there Just one card from this. Oops. Cards are coming really fast for you. Okay. So let's see what the cards are. Communicate clearly. Okay. Throat chakra. Let go. Okay. A big message. Well. We have presence. Archangel Michael. Communication and peace. Archangel Gabriel. Communication cards are twice. This communication card and communicate clearly. Throat chakra. Some, some kind of miscommunication, misunderstandings going on which is keeping you restless, right? You are unable to let go of the things which actually hurt you and the most likely reason for that is Maybe you didn't get a proper closure, right? There was some miscommunication, some misunderstandings and things were left unclear. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. So, so. Okay. So what you have to do is first communication is the key here. We have communication cards twice. So definitely communication is the key here. What you have to do is you need to get this closure, this, this clarification of the things which are going on in your mind in order to let go of the things, okay? And the most ironical part is you are seeking closure in order to let go, but you need to let go in order to get closure, if it makes any sense to you, okay? So do not wait for this closure in order to let go, rather let go at first and then you will get a closure sometime when you are least expecting it okay so this is what your guides are telling you communicate clearly tell everything what you what your heart wants do, do not um, restrict yourself to something maybe you are you are thinking that if you say if you open your heart and uh, say something then it might um, make the things worse right there will be this loss of peace and some some arguments or some miscommunication will happen. But trust me, if you are seeing this number like seven, double seven, triple seven and so on, it means your angels are telling you to communicate in order to make the things better, in order to live with peace, in order to be at peace with yourself. Okay. And in order to let go, definitely, as I told you, just communicate. Do not think what the other person will think. Okay? Don't think that. Just open your heart out. Speak your heart out. It will give you that sense of peace. And you will be able to come out of this dilemma or this circle or whatever this trap is. Which is keeping you on hold. Okay? You will be able to come out of it. And let me pick a clarify for why this presence card is here. Are the guides telling you that they are present for you? Most likely. Let me see. Why the... Okay, I'm not going to take this one. Okay. 
guides please tell me why the presence card is here oops oops why the presence card why the presence card is here please tell me why the oops okay these two want to come out for you why the presence oh three are there i'm not going to take three guys i always take two cards just give me two cards at max why the presence card is here okay okay one wants to come out do you want to give me more cards guys okay no they don't want to okay why the presence is here ask your angels definitely as i told you that angels are there with you feel that angelic presence around you they are there if you need any guidance any help ask your angels wow such a beautiful message most likely you are stuck at a very um point which is not very positive i would say okay stuck somewhere from a long time mostly unable to let go being restless anxious and this lack of guidance you don't know where to go what to do in order to make the things better so guides have stepped in for you there is feel this angelic presence around you they are with you connect with your guides ask them for the guidance ask them all the questions which your heart wants to know okay this communication asking communicate clearly all these cards communication asking telling okay so as i told you in the beginning in order to get closure you need to let go first so tell your angels everything open your heart out they already know your problem but they respect free will so they will not step in they will not interfere with you unless you ask them to okay they are always ready to help you but they will not step in unless you ask them to so you have to communicate you have to tell them that you want their help you have to ask them questions and then they will give you the answers so number 7 is there only to tell you that enough of these problems enough of this restlessness and enough of this dilemma you need to get out of this for your sake for your happiness and your angels are always there to help you let me see why this card is here beyond religion again what it says think of me always be my devotee sacrifice to me and bow down to me do this and you will come to me I promise you this truth for you are dear to me give up all the duties and varieties of religion and simply surrender to me okay religion here means obligations okay so um surrender to me i shall deliver you from all sin so have no fear definitely it speaks of having faith in, in the divine having faith in the devotee do not restrict yourself with some obligations or anything just surrender yourself to the divine just open up to the universe and universe will guide you towards the right path because even universe doesn't like you being in pain okay it's it's been enough universe is saying it's enough now just get up realize what your true power is you are a good soul you are a true soul you are a good person a beautiful person you don't deserve to be in this pain okay i'm here to help you out just tell me once you deserve to be happy you deserve to be at peace okay So number seven. This is the reason behind you seeing these numbers. Okay, let's move on to number eight. Number eight. Guys, please tell me why people are seeing number eight. Just give me two cards. Just give me two cards. Okay, one has come. The other one. Please give me one more card. Okay. Okay, two have come already. Good. Just one, one card, one card, guys. Just one, just one, just one, just one, one card. Okay. 
Okay, I'll take this out. Okay, let me see what the cards are. Success again. Wow. In the near future. Wow. Very beautiful. Truth. Okay. Motivation. Good. We'll see them later. Okay. Actually, once we understand what these cards are saying, then reading these cards are much easier. Okay. Okay. So, people who see number eight, eight, double eight, triple eight, quadruple eight, and so on. Okay. So, you are seeking something in your life. You are looking for something in your life. You are working towards a goal since some time, but you are not seeing any results right now. Okay. And uh, you are confused maybe you have this lack of direction you don't know uh, what to do where to go there is this lack of guidance so this number is just to encourage you that you are on the right path and your confusion will be cleared very soon in the near future and this clarity once you come face to face with the truth with the clarity then you will have the sense of direction you will know what to do what to exactly do how to exactly act in order to reach your goal okay so number eight is just for you to in order to motivate you okay in order to motivate you that you are doing the right thing just, just keep on going and if there is any person or anything which motivates you motivates you which keeps you motivated so basically guides are telling you that do not lose hope okay so do the things which actually motivate you which encourage you towards your path do not lose hope have faith that you will, your all your confusions will go away and you will come face to face with the truth in the near future, which will in turn uh, guide you or take you towards your success. Okay, let's see what, what these say. Sacrificial offerings, what it says, sacrificial offerings. The pious eat only the remnants of sacrificial offerings and so are freed from all the sinful reaction. The wicked people who cook only for themselves eat nothing but sin. Okay, so most likely, okay, let, let me read this also and then I'll come. Um, this is Master of Mystics. Okay, something is hidden. Wherever there is Krishna, the master of all mystics, and Arjuna, the supreme archer, there will always be opulence, victory, extraordinary power and morality. I hold this to be true. Okay, yeah, th this ob obviously speaks of things being hidden, which is shown by this truth card also. You'll come to know the truth very soon. And coming to the sacrificial offerings, it's, it just says that there might be people, the truth, the truth which is hidden for you is that there might be involvement of some people who are not actually good for you, for your success which are there might be things which are creating hindrance which are acting as hindrance in your success so just just do not lose hope by these things and do not trust everybody okay because most likely by reading these three cards i can say that sooner you will come to know something about someone who is really close to you or something which which you actually never expected to not go in your favor, okay? Which which you never expected to be the, the culprit here, okay? Or who you didn't expect to be the culprit here, okay? So just don't lose hope. And once you come face to face with this, with this person, the truth of this person or this thing, once you know the reality, please don't lose hope. You know, with this card, Master of Mystics, guides tell you that you have the capability you have all the things you have the potential to reach great heights you don't need anybody's support it's okay to uh, for seeking help for some motivation or encouragement it's okay but do not completely rely because sometimes it doesn't go well in our favor okay so this is the meaning let's move on to the final one number nine Okay, so the final one, people who are seeing 9, double 9, triple 9, quadruple 9 and so on. Let's see, why are you seeing these numbers? Just two cards, guys.
one more. one card from this okay. two cards have oh three have my god four i'm not going to take this again one card guys again these two cards same as number eight okay so the cards for you are unity archangel uriel nurturing archangel raphael and remain positive guides are telling you to be positive recovery <laughs> yes <laughs> So it's a direct one, right? Whatever you are seeking for, whatever you have doubts, the answer is yes, you are on the right track. You are taking the right decision. You are going in the right direction. Okay, it's a yes. Okay. So just a moment. Okay, so the thing is, you are on the right track. First of all, whatever confusion you have, just let go of all the confusion from your mind. You are on the right track. And you need to be remain positive. You need to be positive. But I see there is a bit of blockage somewhere. Maybe you are lacking the self-esteem or self-love somewhere. Because of some past experience again, because there is this card of recovery, okay, and this nurturing and this heart chakra card of healing. Recovery and healing always come together. It was with another number also. I, I, I just noticed that. Okay, so just, just let go of whatever this past was, which made you think that you are not capable of uh, being successful, okay? Just let go of that, recover from that, heal from that. Do a nurture yourself, practice this self-love and increase your self-esteem. Okay, and remain positive. Yes, remain positive because maybe you, because of this lack of self-worth, you are losing hope or you are going into this negative uh, thoughts and negative pattern of thoughts due to something in the past. Please don't do that. You are on the right track proceed on the right track you are on the right track but these are the blockages which are actually um, delaying the process which are actually delaying the results so please don't do that okay and coming to unity i'm getting multiple energies by unity i, I can't come to a single conclusion let me let me see i will take this one for this why is the unity card here guys okay thank you presence wow discovery mm -hmm. so guides are telling you that they are always with you okay they are always with you i'm getting uh actually i'm getting two messages here number one the guides are always with you you have to walk on new path you have to uh, take new journeys into consideration do not do not hesitate do not think that you are incapable of doing something do not get scared by adventures, okay? You need to work on this path. Your angels are always there to guide you. And right now, whatever you are doing, whatever you are thinking of, and maybe you are not proceeding because you lack the self-worth, guides are telling you that this is the right path. Please do proceed. Guides are always there with you, okay? The second meaning is 
there are people who want to actually help you who are who are present somewhere near you but you are unable to recognize them you are unable to identify who is the person who can help you so please look around look around you will find people who will actually help you come out of this um this pro I, i won't say problem but yeah this negative thinking they will actually help you come out of this negative thinking and actually make you believe again in yourself okay again make you believe in this self love they will boost up your self esteem somehow they will help you in achieving your goal somehow okay there there are these people who will actually help you you both you your angels and these people you all need to be united in order to understand what what message universe is trying to deliver but due to your blockage you are not properly healed due to which you are unable to remain positive okay so just heal that blockage just let go of that blockage focus on self love and uh, the self worth and then you will reach your goal you are on the right track okay let me see what it is sacrificial offerings again we have the pious eat only the remnants of sacrificial offerings and so are freed from all sinful reaction the wicked people who cook only for themselves eat nothing but sin okay this one says master of mystics again whenever there is krishna the master of all mystics and arjuna the supreme archer there will always be opulence victory extraordinary power and morality i hold this to be true yeah so this one speaks of the divine presence okay and this one speaks of just um in simple words if i say it's it's like charity okay in in this context it's like charity just sharing of the things okay sharing of the things in this case in your case specifically in your case it is like just have this uh, just share your thoughts with the helpful people as i told you that there are people around you who might help you so do not restrict everything to yourself do not keep everything in your heart just open up to the people who your intuition says and your angels guide are the right one for you who can actually help you in in doing better okay so just just share your thoughts just share your feelings with them and uh, share your ideas with them okay and god definitely there is this presence of divine who is always there to help you so the two scenarios which i explained are there in these two cards this one is the divine presence who is always there to help you and this one is the presence of people like you have to share your thoughts you have to share your things with with few people who are actually who can actually help you out okay so number 9 this was your reading i hope it resonates with you i hope the reading resonates with all the piles and i'm sure it will and it will actually help you in reaching in achieving your desired goals okay all the best to you all all the best to you all and keep loving keep spreading love take care till we meet again